Hello there, this is Keith May with Keller Williams Realty in Central Oklahoma. I'm here in Southeast Edmond, uh, just in front of Fisher Lake here. Uh, we put out this real estate blog uh, focusing on folks that are in the process of selling and buying a house all in the same time period and all the things that go on during that period. This is some information that's germane to those folks and anybody in the real estate market going forward. Uh, we're past phase three in Oklahoma of, of COVID and uh, something that's a, a topic right now in our industry that I've learned about recently, I just watched a webinar, is uh, forbearance. I've done some research, I've listened to people that really know what they're talking about in the, uh, the Keller Williams MAPS coaching program that I'm a part of. Uh, some of this research is from NAR, the National Association of Realtors as well. Now we're in Oklahoma, of course, we don't get too high with the highs and too low with the lows here and what happens on the coast doesn't necessarily affect us. Right now, um, since COVID starting, according to this, uh, this class that I recently watched and this information that's been put out, it looks like 4 million people have taken mortgage forbearance since COVID started, started about mid-March. Okay, that's 7.3% of all mortgages have taken uh, forbearance. Okay, normally, non-COVID times, that's well under 1%, maybe less than a, a half of percent, or perhaps even lower than that. Uh, so what is forbearance? Forbearance is when the banks, the mortgage companies, temporarily allow borrowers to stop making their payments. And that period of time is normally about three months. Okay, here's the deal. If you get forbearance and the bank allows you to stop making your payments, at the end of that three months, you have to pay it all back at the same time. All three months lumped together. You can't just pick up where you left off with the first month payment and so on and put the two or three months you missed on the back end of your mortgage. Now certainly there could be exceptions out there. We're not hearing that there has been too many exceptions with the banks regarding forbearance. So, know that. Now here's what it means regarding the real estate um, market. Now as we get into the, the end of those three month or 90 day periods for forbearance, there's going to be a lot of folks looking at their options, especially if they're not able to afford three mortgage payments all at the same time due to, to their bank. Now there are options and your options are more plentiful if uh, you're still employed. If you're in forbearance, you can't refinance your loan. If you've got equity, you have much more uh, things you can do and look into as opposed to the period of 07, 08, 09, the Great Recession when a lot of people got in trouble. They didn't have equity then. That's one of the big differences. People have equity now much more so than during that period. When you buy a house, you got to make actually a down payment these days. So the main point that I want to get across to my customers, people I talk to, uh, people in Oklahoma in the Edmond and Oklahoma City market, is that if you took forbearance and you're back and you have all your payments due at once, first of all, we hope you can't afford them. You can get caught back up and, and your life remains minimally disrupted. But if 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 you can't, you, you've got options, and don't think if you can't make that big lump payment that you're gonna go into foreclosure. No, no, I mean, no matter what happens, if you get behind, if there's penalties and fees, attorney fees, late fees, everything, as long as you have equity, you can still sell your house. So don't think that if the big payment comes, you can't make it, you're done, you're not you can still sell your house if you've got equity, no matter to the very last day before the short, before the foreclosure period, uh, before the sheriff's sale, you can still sell it. You just gotta pay everything off, all the fees off, and you keep the difference. If you don't have equity, well, then you have to do something called a short sale, which is a whole separate topic, and hopefully we don't have many of those in Oklahoma uh, this time, but we'll see. My name's Keith May with Keller Williams Realty. My number is 405-330-2626. My website is keithmay.com. Click on the, uh, the, the comments below if you'd like to ask any questions or, or make any comments. Uh, contact me with questions. 
Uh, please click subscribe to this YouTube channel. We put out content about once a week or at least three times a month that are affecting uh, people and things that are topical in the Oklahoma real estate market. Thank you.